Good morning, traders. Bill Dixon here at MF Global on Thursday, October 6th with some opening comments for the soft markets. Cocoa's up a little bit this morning. Uh, had a nice little rally, but then the Bank of England came out and announced uh, some quantitative easing measures, which kind of sent the, uh, the British south and cocoa followed suit. So again, we've been talking for a while now about how, the weak, how weak the fundamentals are in that market. Um, plenty of supply on hand, big crops moving forward, not really any threats to the, uh, the crop. The weather looks good everywhere. So uh, I do expect that market to continue to sell off um, unless we do see uh, some pretty explosive moves higher in the stock market. So um, I think that while we could certainly see some rallies in the stock market, I think that uh, any rally should be relatively uh, contained and shouldn't go too much higher. So I see resistance up in that market around 27. I think that provides a pretty good shorting opportunity. I don't think you should have to take a whole lot of heat. Um, I just don't see what's going to go ahead and change from a fundamental standpoint in the near future. So I think that should be a, a pretty good opportunity there. Uh, coffee, nice little recovery here going. I do see some resistance up in here about 240. So again, I think that if stocks can move higher, coffee is going to go along with it. Otherwise, the fundamental picture looks pretty bearish. We got better weather than expected. There was some concern for a little while in Brazil, but that doesn't look like it's going to be much of a problem. They're finally getting some rain. So we should uh, probably see that market go south if, uh, if, if stocks can finally sell off again here. I think that we will see a pretty good sell off in coffee as well. Um, we, there's really not a whole lot of bullish fundamentals there. There was a report that Vietnam is probably not going to export as much. However, the, uh, the other coffee producing nations seem to have uh, pretty good crops moving forward. So I think that should make up for any shortages we see out of Vietnam exports. Uh, sugar still stuck in the range. It has been unable to benefit from the, uh, the rallies in a lot of the outside markets that have carried some of the other softs higher. Um, pretty negative fundamentals there. We got a world surplus moving for coming forward here. Um, however, technically we are a little bit oversold. So that might prov I think that's what's been providing a little bit of support here. But it does kind of seem that that market's just waiting for everything else to sell off so it can participate in the move. I am a little surprised that uh, given the heavy net long position that some people might not want to defend that a little bit more. Uh, when we start to see some of the, um, the other markets rally, you would think that's, that sugar might benefit from that as well. However, that's not been the case. So be careful on the, uh, the long side there, but uh, it does seem like we found a pretty good base here for the time being. But I would keep an eye on the other markets, and uh, if we do get some severe sell-offs, I'd be ready to act on that market as well. So if you'd like to talk about these markets or any other markets in greater detail, feel free to reach me at my trade desk, which is 312-548-2942. And please do remember that futures trading does involve the risk of substantial loss and is not suitable for all investors. Thanks. Have a good day.